we now need to set up collision channels in the engine. So we need to go to edit project settings. And we need to go down to engine and collision. There are three sections here. There's various presets. We've got object channels and trace channels. Trace channels allow you to trace, a bit like ray tracing, but it sort of allows you to trace to see if you hit anything. We're going to create an object channel and set the presets for it because the presets allow us to specify what the channel interacts with and how it interacts. So I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to call it fist. Going to set it from block to overlap. Now we have a, an object channel, but now we need to set up a preset for it. So I need to create one. I'm going to call it fist. Now collision enabled, we want to set this to Aquarium physics. That's the usual one. Object type is fist. Now that's the name of our channel that we just created. And I'm going to put a description in here. For camera, we're going to ignore and pawn overlap. Uh, fist is overlap. So if I click accept, that's it. You can edit this by double clicking on it. Now these are stored in the default engine any file and we don't need to explicitly save them because there's no save button. This is typical with these settings. So they'll be safe when you click the accept button. That's it. In the next video, we're going to create an anim notify state class that is notified at specific points in the animation montage so that we can enable and disable collision so that the collision is only active during the relevant part of the attack. Anyway, that's it.